I regret to inform you, the Libertarians are at it again. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And a couple of days ago, this ruling came out uh, where a judge ruled that illegal immigrants have the right to keep and bear arms in this country, I guess. And uh, the reactions to this ruling have been pretty interesting. So I've just found uh, some of the reactions just be interesting. And essentially, it boils down to like, look, if you think this is a bad idea, then you don't believe in the Second Amendment, right? Rights are rights, a period. It doesn't matter if you're here illegally. And if you think this is a bad ruling, then you don't believe in the Second Amendment. And you believe, basically believe in gun control, just like all the other crazy leftists. And uh, as I've reflected on that the past couple days, uh, it, it's almost comically stupid, that take. And, and so I, I feel compelled to say something. So just full disclosure here, at one point in my life, I probably would have called myself a libertarian. I've stopped using that title because I then have to explain for the next 10 to 15 minutes why that means I'm not mentally retarded. The problem with this take is, is a couple fold, right? Uh, and, and, and let's try to steel man their position as, as best we can to try to be as fair as we can here, right? What they're saying is, look, rights are universal across, across the board. All human beings have the same rights. So the right to keep and bear arms is a right. All human beings have it inherently. And for you to say that they can't have it is immoral because you are denying their rights as a human being. That's what I understand them to be saying, and that, that's what I understand their position to be. The big... Big, big problem with that comes in that we are talking about people who are in this country illegally. So by nature of simply being here, they have illegally trespassed into the nation and are now residing here. And then we are supposed to afford them the same rights and opportunities and respect that we would afford someone who has not illegally trespassed. That doesn't make sense to me. That's one. Point number two. Uh, we currently have very little control over our borders, right? Nothing happens in a vacuum. So the border all around the nation, right? If it's plain or if it's at the southern border, the southern border is just always the easiest to point to because it's, it's the worst. Um, no matter where it is, America has no control over its borders. So because of that, illegal immigration is completely and utterly out of control. On top of that, you have an administration that is actively working to keep the border open, to shuffle as many illegal immigrants into the country as it is possibly can, right? Actively working to make that happen. All of the border destruction, all of the flying uh, illegal immigrants into the nation and giving them cell phones and not checking their IDs in airports and all of this stuff, it's all intentional, it's all on purpose. It's all meant to completely crush and replace the culture and the people of this nation. So when you take all of that in context and then you say on top of that, you know what? They have a right to carry guns. The, the people who are here to eradicate your way of life, it's a, it's a good thing that we're gonna arm them. And how dare you stand in the way from arming those people who want to invade your house and, and take it over and live there now. That, that's essentially what they're saying, the libertarians. And, and that's why I take such big issue with this. Like, can we just stop for a minute and take a breath and use just, just a little bit of common sense? Arming people who want to hurt you is not a good idea. And, and there has to be a understanding of common sense practicality there that to me seems so plainly obvious, I shouldn't have to explain it. But you know, here we are. So while I'm on this topic, this is my problem with libertarians. They don't have any common sense. They're, they're the largest group of political uh, morons I've ever encountered in my entire life because they're so busy talking about principles living in their mother's basement that they can't actually get out into the real world and see how life is. That doesn't mean principles aren't important. We talk about principles here quite a bit. I think principles are extremely important. However, if that's 100% of your existence is principling and, and writing and, and principles reached by a priori reasoning, if you don't know what that is, don't worry, it doesn't matter, um, then that's a problem, okay? That, that's a problem. If that's all your life is, that's it. Honestly, I'm at the point at this point where I'm like, look, 
post uh, post physique or shut up. Like I want to see your numbers. I want to see your family. I want to see what you've done and built with your life. Uh, or I'm really not interested in your opinion. So should illegal immigrants be allowed to carry guns? No. Again, they're trespassing illegally here. I don't allow someone to trespass illegally into my house and be like, well, I mean, now that you're here though, I mean, you know, like, here you go. I mean, it's, it's yours. It's, you have the right, obviously. That's preposterous. Who would do that? Why would you think that that's a reasonable thing to do? We don't arm people who illegally trespass into spaces. That goes for nations, that goes for houses, that goes for all kinds of things. That's a bad idea, particularly when a substantial number of them, I don't know what the number is, let's say uh, 10, 25%, you pick a number, it doesn't really matter, but a substantial number, greater than five, um, are there to intentionally remove you from existence, eradicate your way of life, whether that be out and out murder or theft, which is a thing and happens, or whether it just be, we want to plow under your entire existence and your cultural heritage so that we can replace you with our cultural heritage. That's a big problem. And that's of course where we're going. And that's of course why the, the administration is shoving as many illegal immigrants into the nation as possible because they want to eradicate the cultural fabric that once held this nation together. To be honest though, I mean, the, the cultural fabric's been in tatters for most of my lifetime, so there is that. So I just completely reject this idea of <laughs> that it's legal to arm illegal immigrants. I just think the greatest irony here is that you have people who are arguing for rights, right? They have rights, we should arm them, and they want to arm the people that are there to take away your rights. It, it's the same thing to me as like, when the leftists, right, want to arm the government who is racist and supremacist and all this other stuff, right? But we should arm them and only they should have arms. It may be not the same thing, but they're very similar in, in, in their root understanding of let's give weapons and arms to the people who are here to be opposed to us. The idea of a individualistic rights republic, which is kind of general how I would classify America, can only happen within a certain culture, right? within a culture that has deep rooted Christian values, that has a high trust culture, everybody's sharing the same set of values. And there's lots of cultural overlap. That's the only place that that kind of system works. Does it make it less true that it doesn't work in other places? No. The irony, of course, is, is that the libertarians would say, no, we shouldn't export democracy. No, we shouldn't go do this nation building. We shouldn't go to these other countries and, and force democracy on them. That's preposterous. You know, We should be more isolationist. And on that point, I, I agree with them in general. However, how can you say that and then say, we should take those people though and bring them here and give them all, right, all rights and if you deny that, then you're the problem. Well, they don't have a cultural uh, backing, historical position of thinking that those rights are valid. They're not gonna get there and say, oh, well, I have the rights now, this is great, this is how it should be, right? You don't understand that the tradition of individualistic rights is built on hundreds of years of philosophical thought that someone just doesn't arrive to at a moment simply because they get a gun in their hands. And if, and if you think that that happens, that, that's preposterous. You don't understand how people think, work, operate, etc. So you can't just take people who have no cultural tradition whatsoever of individualistic rights and republic, republicanism, and what I mean is, you know, a republic, we're not a democracy, we're a republic, I'll say it till I'm blue in the face, uh, and, and then be like, well, it's preposterous to deny them rights, how could you, that's, that's inconsistent of you. I'm not denying them rights, I'm saying they need to leave the country because they're here illegally, and that's the end of that discussion. It's a wild world out there, boys. Do brave deeds, and endure.